Well, what an eventful day it has been for West Bengal politics, all coming together on Women's Day. Well, Mamta Banerjee tore into her primary opposition, the Bharatiya Janata Party, the challenger in West Bengal, invoking that she and her party has given maximum representation to women. Let's cut across uh, to my colleague Surya, who's standing by for more. Well as, well, as election season soars high, temperatures are high, the war of words has turned into, you know, war of slogans, wherein the Trinomul's jibe of Khala Hobe or Game is On is viral. But the Prime Minister somehow, you know, has summed it up by saying Khala Shesh or Game is over. Now, is this the game over for the Trinomul or for the BJP? Only time can say, look into this report of the war of slogans. Kela Hobe. This one phrase has caught the imagination of the Neta and the voter in Bengal. It is the pet slogan for TMC leaders challenging the BJP, with Mamta Banerjee leading the way. Just to sample a few occasions, the Bengal CM roared, Kela Hobe while addressing a rally on International Women's Day in Kolkata on Monday. A day earlier, Mamta dared Prime Minister Narendra Modi for a one-on-one -on -one debate using the same catchphrase. And the BJP is replying in the same language. Holding his biggest rally in the state, Prime Minister Narendra Modi used Mamta's poll slogan to accuse her government of corruption. The Prime Minister also gave a new spin to the slogan, turning it to Khela Shesh or Game Over for TMC. A crossfire of slogans, posters and jingles has brought new energy in battleground Bengal. The Kela Hobe slogan came close on the heels of TMC launching Bangla Niger Make a Chai or Bengal wants its own daughter slogan, adding to the shrill insider versus outsider debate. The BJP was quick to counter it with its own poster featuring women leaders of the party and captioning it, BJP wants its own daughter, not auntie. The Safran party also came up with Pishi Jao song that means Bengal wants to get rid of Mamta. The song was inspired by famous 19th century Italian communist song, Bella Ciao. Bureau report, India Today.
All right, let's get you more, especially on Women's Day, a big political face-off uh, between the BJP and the TMC over women's safety in the state of West Bengal. Mamta leading the charge hit out at the Prime Minister during a mega rally in Kolkata saying that women in Bengal can roam freely even after midnight unlike states like Uttar Pradesh where women cannot step out of the house after 3 in the afternoon. Lashing out, Mamta said Prime Minister must focus on crime against women in Gujarat and UP. To counter Mamta's rally, top women leaders of the BJP addressed a media briefing shortly to raise the plight of women in Bengal. নারীদের অধিকার রক্ষা করা আমাদের প্রথম দায়িত্ব আমাদের প্রাথমিক দায়িত্ব মহিলাদের অসম্মান করা আমরা মানব না নারী শক্তিকে অসম্মান করা আমরা মানব না আমার ঘরের মা আমার ঘরের বোন আমার ঘরের ভাই আমার ঘরের বউ আমার ঘরের ছোট ছোট ভাই বোনেরা মনে রাখবেন তারাই বাংলাকে করেছে দেশ করেছে Women's safety is not the only source of friction between the BJP and the TMC. On the other hand, uh, both the TMC and the BJP are sparring where the model code of conduct comes into question. Days after, TMC wrote to the EC seeking removal of Modi's posters and advertisements of various central schemes and COVID vaccination certificates. BJP's Amit Malwya has hit out on Mamta Banerjee for alleged poll violation. Malwya put out a tweeting, put out a tweet objecting the use of Didi's posters and government ambulances. He asked EC to take note of this and several other posters across government properties. On March 3rd, the EC directed removal of Modi's posters from petrol pumps after TMC's complaint. All right, desertions continue to haunt the TMC. The latest in the line of deserting the Trinamool Congress is Sonali Guha and she viewers is a long-term MLA, four-time TMC MLA. One of the close aides of Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has jumped ship too and joined the BJP today. She's an MLA from Sattagachia in South Chobis Paraganas. Sonali Guha was miffed after she was denied a ticket from the TMC for the upcoming assembly polls. She is one of the sitting MLAs who did not get a ticket. Sonali said that if Mamta can leave her, so why can she, not she? हमने त्रिनोमुल छोड़ा नहीं त्रिनोमुली हमको छोड़ दिया हम कांग्रेस के पास जा सकता था लेकिन कांग्रेस का बहुत सारा आदमी हजारों के ऊपर आदमी सीबीएम का हाथ मार्डर हुआ उसके साथ ही कांग्रेस ने गठबंधन कर लिया फिर नेक्स्ट जो ऑप्शन था वो बीजेपी था इसीलिए मैंने बीजेपी का साथ ज्वाइन कर लिया ये तो ममता दीदी बता सकती है कि क्यों हमारा नाम लिस्ट में नहीं आया आपको गुस्सा आया कि आपको दुख हुआ दुख हुआ और कोई ऑल्टरनेटिव नहीं है और मैं आइडियोलॉजी में भी विश्वास करती हूँ और ये पार्टी इसीलिए कि ये पार्टी इंसान के लिए मनुष्य के लिए काम करते हैं और मुझे लगता है कि शोनार बांग्ला शोनार बांग्ला को आगे लेके जाने के लिए ये पार्टी का यहाँ पे आना बहुत All right, let's quickly shift from the state of West Bengal to the state of Tamil Nadu and uh, politics right there again. News break coming in. Kamal Hassan has now hit at Stalin. This time, primarily, Kamal Hassan says basically that uh, I was blamed for insulting Karuna Nidhi when I made a remark about wheelchair, but I never intended to do so. If I wanted to insult him, I would have simply said MK Stalin. I want to. I want to connect to Pramod, uh, who's getting us more. Pramod, the ouch over that comment where MK Stalin is concerned, but over to you. Well, uh, it seems like you know a war of plagiarism has erupted between uh, DMK and uh, MNM here. That too before the elections. Uh, what action was like? You no, know, a day before, MK Stalin, the leader of DMK, gave tall promises at Trichy, and apparently, it seems Kamal Hassan is upset over the fact, and uh, uh, he claims that uh, Kamal, MK Stalin has stolen the ideas or lifted the ideas of MNM party. Here's the report. A massive show of strength, a sea of black and red, the Dravidian colours. As lakhs of people came together for a mega DMK rally in Trichy, 
M.K. Stalin launched his vision document. Stalin, who's waging a war to be the next Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, released a 10-year vision document on what he's offering the people of Tamil Nadu. And here are the highlights. The DMK has now put out a vision document. Interestingly, it's a 10-year vision document that MK Stalin has announced. Uh, it has 1,000 rupees per month, which will be given to every homemaker, uh, according to the DMK. Besides that, very ambitious target of 10 lakh jobs being created every year in the state of Tamil Nadu. They're also saying that there'll be a rise in per capita income to 4 lakh rupees. Besides that, the vision document mentions doubling of scholarships for SC and ST community candidates. Uh, running water supply in every single village is another promise that's been made in this vision document. Besides that, They've also spoken about development uh, in every village where internet connection will be available everywhere across the state. Concrete houses is something that the DMK is focused on, saying that they will build 9.75 lakh concrete houses and thereby ensure that slums are slowly gotten rid of. An issue that in fact has resonated a lot in Tamil Nadu is that of manual scavenging and the fact that it's still happening. MK Stalin has promised that this will be completely eliminated using technology. Doubling of healthcare staff is another big promise that's been made in this vision document. Let me highlight again that this is a 10-year vision document that the DMK released in Trichy. The biggest talking point, 1,000 rupees for every homemaker. <laughs> Madandorong, Ayer Rubai, Urimeto Kabaraka Rikrom Ration Kadakale, one of Purkalepur, Anitu Kudumbungalum, is an Alpayan Adayum. The DMK chief from the rally stage also lashed out at rival and incumbent chief minister Edapadi Parani Swami. Other Kapin, Bajaka, and Adimayaki, Sasikala, and Yamati. Panichami or Archi Kedra, Vakalichavo, Panisal Vataye, Tonai Mother Panavi Kudutu, Payaki Vichikitar Panichami. He put a cut on the Pata and the Halatra, Tamarakata, Murumayaha, Nasamakitanga, Motama, Urukachitanga. But Stalin has come under attack over his ambitious vision document. Makkal Nidhi Mayam chief and superstar Kamal Hassan has accused the DMK chief of copying his vision document. So what's similar? Well, both parties have promised income for homemakers and also the big job promise. The DMK has promised 10 lakh jobs per year, the MNM 50 lakh jobs in five years. Will voters be able to make the difference and will it matter at all when voting actually begins? In a massive event at Trichy, attended by lakhs of caterers, MK Stalin gives out a series of promises. Important ones are about increasing jobs converting below poverty line into prosperity line and of course giving 1000 rupees to homemakers to support them however kamal hassan now claims that these are these ideas which allegedly has been stolen by the dmk leader and dmk can only say that there is no iota of truth in it with camera person divian pramod madhav point it today Welcome back. Now news coming in from Kerala. The chief minister of Kerala was in his home city campaigning for the upcoming elections where the left hopes to break the trend of alternate governments in the state of Kerala. Kerala chief minister Pinarai Vijayan in his hometown Kannur to kickstart his poll campaign. Vijayan received a grand welcome at this for the first time as he arrived in his hometown as part of the election campaign. He was, he will now attend a reception at multiple locations before addressing a convention at Pinarai Convention Center. At the convention, Kerala Chief Minister is likely to respond to questions and allegations raised by Amit Shah over the gold scam case. For the next eight days, Vijayan will remain in his hometown in his constituency, Dharmadam, where he will attend numerous family meetings. All right, with that, viewers, it's a wrap on State of War, at least this edition. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay with us. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, 
like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.